everyone, I am Tosin Oloyade. Welcome to today's Spring Broadcast. I say a wonderful thank you to all the subscribers on this channel. It has been you all the way. Thank you so much. Well, today what I have before me is just a controversial topic about the opinion of two immigrant families. Each immigrant family has its own opinion as to letting the children to go back home, I mean back to the native country, and the other immigrant family feels it is a good thing, while the other immigrant family feels it isn't worth it. Well, let me start with the other family that feels it isn't worth it. They have very key reasons. The first reason is the potential danger that they see in it. Like the danger of safety and security, which is very, very paramount. They believe that the children are prone to security issues. They are the mercy of kidnappers who daily choose to kidnap, uh, kidnap people and make them pay huge amounts of money as ransom for their lives. So, based on this reason, this particular immigrant family just feel and conclude that it isn't worth it. Why should they have to allow their children to visit the native country and they, they have to be afraid of them being kidnapped? Well, my viewers, I hope you are following me. Another reason that they have is they see it as being very expensive. It requires solid preparation and it could be tiring. Okay now, imagine their children having to visit the native country for six weeks and they have to spend a whole lot of money on the traveling a whole lot of money to ensure that they feel very good at home also apart from the money they have to spend they have to prepare on as to when probably the mother or the father have to be on vacation because maybe they want either of them or both of them to be at home with them which is not very easy it costs them money it costs them time it costs them energy they don't want to go through this just because probably the children in a year have to go to the native country and spend just six weeks i mean six weeks is it really worth it i leave it to you also another reason they they, they have is the jet lag issue they are going home to visit and to have fun but they the first two weeks out of the six weeks they have to deal with jet, jet lag issue that's one while dealing with jet lag issue they have to deal with allergic reactions they have to deal with well at times they could be prone to infection because of environmental issue and unfortunately even the health insurance that they have here may not be able to cover them back home and so the, the this particular family they have sat down and they have concluded that i don't want my dear children we don't want them to face all of this just because they have to stay, uh, to spend six weeks with our family members back home i mean in their native country another thing is when the children are over there they miss out on all the activities they they always enjoy with their peers over here that is it and this affects them emotionally and psychologically they are back home they are thinking about what they are missing over here lastly they feel that when they return back to america those children they feel lost and disconnected they have to gather themselves gather their emotions back 
to get used to the environment that they have always lived in. And the, the, the parents feel that this is like a torture on their children. They love their children so much and they don't want their children for any reason to go through all of this. Well, that is that on the opinion of those families. The other family whose opinion is to always let their children visit the, the native country. They also have their reasons. Yes, and those reasons are very, very important to them. The first reason they have is they believe that the, these children will be able to get out of their comfort zones. And when they are out of their comfort zones, they are able to learn how to adapt to strange situations. And this helps them to be very, very smart. This is what the parents want to be proud of. They believe that smartness is part of education. Smartness enhances child development. Well, that's their reason. The second reason is about a culture. They see it's that letting the children visit the native country exposes them to the culture, the values, the way of life of their family members in their native country. This is something that they have always dreamt of. This is something that they want because they don't want the children to be away from home and be lost from home. So they believe that the only way to bridge the gap between the children and their native country is to always allow them to go back home even if they have to spend just six weeks at home to them it makes them happy and they are doing it all for the love that they have for the children well another reason they they, they have is the belief that it humbles the children it humbles them in the sense that there are some things that they don't have a choice but to do traditionally when they get home i mean when they get to the native country for example some of these families when their children get to the native country the only choice they have is to wash their clothes without using the washing machine and to dry it without using the dryer they know how to sweep in the mechanical way they don't have to use all of the machines that they are used to over here and this is what the parents enjoy to see their children being able to do. To them, it is paramount and they are happy. Another reason that they, they are very, very major on is the language factor. They believe that when the children are always going home at least for six weeks every year, they are able to understand and speak the native language very fluently which helps them to build communication on personal levels that is one two it also leads to more sensitive relationship because when the children are able to understand and speak the language of their native country very fluently they are able to even uh, marry people from their native country and these parents want to be proud of it they want those children to be connected to their native country in whatever way that they see it. Well, to me, these two reasons are very, very important. The reason that the first family has and the reason that the second family has. But I want to leave it to you at the comment section to give your opinion. How do you see it? Are you a parent who are in support of the first immigrant family? that the children may not even have any reason to go home or it is not even worth it, it is not necessary at all or are you of the opinion of the second immigrant family who feel that it is very very paramount and essential for their children to always go home at least spend six weeks every year with their family members in their native country i leave it to you at the comment section Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching Broadcast TV. Bye for now. Thank you.